Many of the top companies in the world have names we instantly recognize and we couldn't imagine them being called anything else. But where did these names come from? Well, join us as we count 10 reasons behind company names. Number 10. Amazon. Amazon was founded by Jeffrey Bezos in 1994 as a bookstore. Amazon was previously known by everyone as Kadabra.com. Just kidding, no one had ever heard of them in that name. However, Amazon was actually called Kadabra for a while, as in Abracadabra, but that name died pretty fast after it had been pointed out that it sounded like a cadaver. Get it? The name died fast. Cadaver. Anyway, moving on. In 1995, Bezos started to look through the dictionary after a new name that would reflect his company. He didn't get that far into the book because he found the word Amazon. He liked the word Amazon for two reasons. In the past, websites were listed alphabetically. This would mean that Amazon would be higher on different pages, giving it a slightly better marketing spot. Second, he picked the largest river in the world to communicate Amazon's huge selection of books. Nowadays, you kind of find pretty much anything on Amazon. Would you like a Nicolas Cage pillowcase or an inflatable party sheep? Then Amazon is the place for you. Number 9. Instagram. Instagram was created by Kevin Seastrom and Mike Krieger and launched in October 2010. Perhaps not so hard to figure out, Instagram is a combination of instant camera and telegram, which in short term becomes Instagram. Number 8. YouTube. YouTube was created by three former PayPal employees in February 2005. In November 2006, it was bought by Google for 1.65 billion US dollars. So what about the name? You in this context means that you can personalize it. It's yours. And Tube stands for video or television. Tube was an old term for television when TVs had picture tubes inside. Number 7. Facebook. Facebook was invented by Mark Zuckerberg with a little help from some of his friends, although Mark Zuckerberg himself has stated that the social network was his own creation, something he designed and built while he was a student at Harvard. Before the social network, known by all of us as Facebook, previously known by no one as THE Facebook, a face book was simply a book of photos of faces and names. These books are given out at big workplaces and universities so that the colleagues and classmates can recognize each each other. The name Facebook originates from these paper documents, perhaps not so creative, but very effective. Number 6. eBay. eBay was founded by Pierre Omidyar in 1995. Started out as Auction Web, but changed the name to eBay in 1997. From the start, the site belonged to Echo Bay Technology Group, which was Omidyar's consulting firm. He had tried to register the domain name echobay.com, but unfortunately, or should we say fortunately for him, the domain name was already taken by a gold mining company called Echo Bay Mines. No problem for Omidyar, as he then went for his second choice and registered ebay.com. Number 5. Wikipedia. Wikipedia was launched on the 15th of January 2001 by Jimmy Wales and Larry Sanger. The actual suggestion that the site should be open for the users to edit with no specific organization having control came from Richard Stallman in 2000. So what's in the name then? Well, a wiki is a page or collection of pages that anyone can access and edit. Pedia is short for encyclopedia, a collection of information. Before you youths were alive, these were more common in paper form. And there you have the name, Wikipedia. It just tells you what it is, literally. Number 4. Twitter. Twitter was created in March 2006 by Jack Dorsey, Evan Williams, Biz Stone and Noah Glass and launched in July 2006. From the beginning, Twitter was called Status, but that didn't really feel right for the creator Jack Dorsey. He searched through the dictionary and came across the word Twitter, a short burst of inconsequential information and chirps from birds. With the 140 character limit, Dorsey thought that the description fit the product perfectly. Initially, the product was inspired by Flickr and Dorsey called it Twitter. What? Twitter, but change it to Twitter for simplicity. Number 3. Apple. Apple was founded by Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak and Ronald Wayne on the 1st of April 1976. Steve Jobs was the one who came up with the name after visiting an Apple farm. He thought the name Apple sounded fun, spirited and non-intimidating. But do you know why someone has taken a bite out of the Apple in the logo? Well, the logo designer revealed the quite simple explanation. I designed it with a bite for scale, so people get that it was an apple and not a cherry. 
Number 2. Microsoft Microsoft was founded on April the 4th, 1975 by Bill Gates and Paul Allen. Paul Allen came up with the original name Microsoft but was later changed by Bill Gates to Microsoft. In the early tech days, the microprocessor was invented. With the microprocessor, the companies could now build so-called mini computers. Paul Allen saw this as an opportunity. New computers would need standard means to write software for them, and Microsoft was the company that was going to do it. The name Microsoft is a blend between microprocessor and software, as their goal was to become the leading company for software for microprocessors. Pretty simple. Number 1. Google Google was founded by Larry Page and Sergey Brin in 1998. So what does Google mean? Could it have something to do with goggles? No, they wanted a name that related to the volume of data that the search engine indexed. During a brainstorming session, one of their friends suggested the name Googleplex. Googleplex is the name for 10 to the power of Google. Google is the name used by mathematicians to reference 10 to the power of 100. Anyway, when their friend suggested the name Googleplex, Larry Page felt more comfortable with the shorter name Google. They quickly searched the internet to see if the domain was free. Their friend, however, misspelled Google and typed in Google with LE, which was available. Larry Page liked it and the rest is history. As always, thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Let me know if you liked this video or if you thought it sucked. Thanks.